All right. All right now, look for a second part. So, today on our show, we have up and coming artist Oliver Anderson. So, the EP, what's it, what's it all about? Uh, all right, so the EP is uh, it's called After the Party. Mm. And it's just a collection of kind of experiences and situations that I have you know, been through during sessions, like during parties and during the last two years of my life as a, uh, as a whole. So the overall kind of uh, vibe of it is love, drugs and time, pretty much. Mm. Yeah, so it's, uh, it consists of five songs. I'm really, really proud of these five songs. We've been working on them for months now. Mm. And uh, I've had a little finished. sneak peek and it is, it is serious stuff. It is, is serious stuff. But yeah, um, it'll be out very soon. Uh, we're going to release singles firstly. We're going to release two singles uh, mm. in the next month. And then after that, the EP will come out as a collection as a, as a whole. So uh, yeah, it's uh, exciting times yeah. pretty much. I know, there'll be links below as well to all of your Spotify. So, um, you know, you know, upcoming artists are getting quite successful. But, you know, what was it like when you first sort of started, you know, playing guitar? What, sort of, what inspired you? Um, all right, so that's actually quite a different question. Um, my my dad played a lot of guitar back in back in his day, and and still to this day he plays a lot of guitar and he sings. Now um, I used to listen to him all the time. I used to you know look at him in awe and be like, how how are you creating this beautiful music from your voice and from this from this like piece of wood with some strings? Yeah. And you know he he um, he really encouraged me with my music. He bought me my first piano. Uh, I tried to get into that. I I could never get a hang of piano. Yeah. It was really difficult. I can play a couple of chords, a couple of songs, but uh, I decided to move on to guitar. Uh, and my dad was really was well, yeah. My dad was all for it to be honest, because obviously as you would be, your son's getting into the same thing as you are. So he was very supportive. He bought me my first guitar along with my mum, and um, and I taught myself. And you know it was it was difficult because telling people that you're going to be a musician, they instantly doubt you. They instantly think, oh, this guy's. You know, just lazy. This guy's just trying to like yeah. find an easy route into money or easy I mean, route. It is a very competitive industry. It is a very competitive yeah. industry, but I am a very competitive person. <laughs> so I think family. I think that the industry um, is ready for me at this point. Mm. Well, I hear that. So you know, talk us through what's your creative process. Well, I like to observe a lot of things um, when I'm. You know, in a situation, I don't find a need to constantly be talking, and uh, so I kind of I can kind of observe situations. I can observe people's behaviour. I can observe like all these kind of things. So it really make it gives me a lot of uh, material mm. for my songs. So just being just being observant and being patient with uh, people and with situations can give you a lot of uh, creative <coughs> creative inspired. Um, <laughs> it can give you a lot of creative. Uh, flow and mm. so what I like to do with my when I when I create a song for example is I like to you know pick uh, some really nice chords yeah. and maybe add a couple of little juicy like twangs of the guitar in there as well just yeah. make it you know give it a bit of a vibe and then I like to just freestyle things that have happened to me today things that have happened you know recently situations I've been in like uh, getting like, bre like breaking up with someone or mm. doing this different kind of like drug or something like that you know what I mean yeah. so then I'll, then I'll compile my thoughts and feelings into a freestyle until yeah. it comes up until I come up with something catchy and then I'll work maybe off of that uh, yeah, as a like chorus fun. and mm. um, yeah and then I'll start just writing lyrics and I find it quite I find it quite easy to write lyrics because I I used to read a lot like, I used to read a lot of poetry and everything so I can like, quite easily find a rhyme and yeah. find the connecting words to make it you know good yeah. so what you do is just in your free time yeah, I have quite a lot of free time now as I as I dropped out of school, uh, <laughs> and um, so yeah, no, I have quite a lot of free time now. Uh, I'm I'm always busking in Bromley. I'm always writing songs now. That's literally all I've got time for now. Mm. Um, so yeah, I do it all in my free time because my time is all free. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fair enough. Well, I'm, you know, heard through the grapevine that you you know used to busk or still do. Yeah, you know, do you want to talk a little about that? Because I'm pretty sure that's definitely come into, you know, it is coming to play in terms of confidence levels, uh, not so much in gaining an audience because people because I don't actually have a sign that says my name or anything. Yeah. The odd person does come up and ask me, do I have an Instagram? Do I have a Spotify? Yeah. But it's um, it's mainly best for uh, my confidence and and being able to publicly 
like put my music out there. Yeah. It gets me ready for people's critiques, and it also gets me ready to you know, for people's praise, because mm. handling any of it is quite is quite a big deal. Um, and it really helps me to just like unwind. It helps me when you're out there with an audience, and they're you know they're loving what you're doing. They're, they're giving you like smiles. They're dropping you a pound so you can get some lunch. Yeah. It's it, it really is it's really it's a really like um, wholesome experience. Mm. Would you say that you would have progressed to be, you know, doing music as a full time thing because of busking? Do you think that was a step through the door? I'd say definitely it was a step through the door mm. because I um, originally I wanted to I obviously wanted to be a musician the whole time. But I also wanted to be a producer, yeah. and the busking like just completely took me away from wanting to be a producer yeah. because no like producers do like amazing work, but they're sat in the studio the whole time, and I'd rather be out there yeah. engaging with an audience, engaging with people because that's where I flourish. I can I can speak to people, and I'm quite confident with just strangers and with the public. So mm. busking could really really like it was, it was a catalyst for me. Deciding to just be a musician, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, so, and I put all my focus onto that because of the busking. So, busking kind of got you started. Do you have any other tips, you know, for beginners, people, aspiring singer songwriters? Um, I'd say um, just just keep on doing it. Don't let anyone, like, put you down. Uh, I watched an uh, interview with Ed Sheeran a long time ago, and it really helped me, and I'll, and I'll say the exact thing that he said. Uh, when you write songs, it's like turning on a, t a really old, rusty tap for the first time. And you just gotta let all that shit just fucking flow out, you know what I mean? Mm. All, all, all of that, like, dusty water flow out. You just yeah. got if it's a terrible song, write it. And then just get rid of it afterwards, or just do whatever you want with it. And then, eventually, the water will start to run clear. Yeah. And everything you're writing is now sounding really good, you're really uh, enjoying it. So basically just uh, persistence and just not giving up. On yourself and not giving up on your songs mm -hmm. is probably the best tip that I have ever got. So it'd probably be the best tip that I could give. To wrap this all up, you know, the question I like to ask is, how would you like to be remembered? You know, um, I'd say that I'd like to be remembered um, as one of the people who, you know, helped free people. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. like um, it sounds really like corny. But in, in what way? Like? In in a way of not just musically, but Spiritually, I, I want my music to come across to people as a message of hope, as a message of you, you know, can do this. You sh it shouldn't be like this. It should be like this. Or, you know, giving them a means to create a better future for themselves. And I hope to be remembered as one of the people who um, created a stepping stone for freedom and for hope. Mm. That's that's the biggest thing. Well, for me. I, I really, I, I rate that. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, okay, thank you for coming on the podcast. Thank you for having me. You know, and uh, EP, plug it one more time. Alright, yeah, after the party, going to be coming out in about a month, so keep your ears pricked. I'll see you in a bit. Keeping peeled, right. Keeping your ears peeled. <laughs> <laughs> Peeling your ears. <laughs> what? Peeling, you said peeled. I said keeping your ears peeled. Yeah. Yeah. Where's your eyes peeled? <laughs> <laughs> Peeling their ears, bro. That's bad, really. <laughs>